hello guys welcome to my youtube channel of course this is your first time here because it's my first time making a tutorial too and henceforth i'll be creating more stuffs on so today we'll be doing a photo manipulation such as this so let's get started <laughs> Actually, photo manipulation is not that hard to achieve in Photoshop. All you've got to do is to understand the workflow of layers, blending, masking, and color grading. I will try as much as possible to make this tutorial short and possibly meaningful. So, for this image, I will be starting everything from scratch. Let's go. So, I have my image here. The first thing we might want to do is to change the background so which means we have to mask around the subjects in order to achieve that so you could do this with many tools i have to zoom in so i could clearly see you know their shapes and everything that come with it so you can do this with um different tools i might probably be making a tutorial on how to change a video sorry a picture background so you could do this with the pen tool or the polygonal tool and the rest of them but here i'll be using the polygon polygonal tool so all you've got to do is mask around the objects or rather the people in the picture just this way so um, i have to speed in this up so we won't have to waste time so as you can see i have mask around the object excluding the this inner parts that we still have to mask again so at this point we have to further this selection you just right click click on further and you could add maybe one two or three depends on the amount of edges the softening of the edges you want so but for mine i'll leave it at two and click on ctrl j that will have your selection duplicated so if you make this layer invisible you see that the rest of the picture background has gone excluding this inner part that we have to uh, you know mask around again and achieve that so i'll have to do that again zoom in in order to see it clearly so. when you must have you know selected the inner parts such as this all you have to do is right click once again further okay then you have to you know, press the delete key on your keyboard to remove this inner place that's it so you have to do this to the rest of these other ones So as you can see we are done um, masking our subject out from the background so, so the next thing we have to be doing now is to you know add the background we want so and over here i've got this image i downloaded from google so as you can see just like i said earlier uh, photo manipulation has to do with you know the workflow of layers over here we can see layer one layer two okay so what we have to do here is because we want our objects or maybe the subjects to be at the front which means we have to you know drag this layer two down like this so our subject appears at the front so you have to rescale this by pressing ctrl t on your keyboard and hold down ctrl and alt to scale okay let's keep it somewhere here okay i have to crop my background too 
because I'm thinking it's too big to somewhere here, you know. Yeah. Good. Okay, so just like we are trying to achieve, you know, um, people in a canoe, so I will have to import the canoe picture too. So, still the same way we just to mask, grab the polygonal tool and mask around this box. So here we have our root, control T to scale that. So, what we will try to achieve now is making the objects, as in the people to fit in in the boat. As you can see, they are just hanging up there, which is not looking real. So we have to, you know, blend it so that they would attach somewhere inside the boat. So all you've got to do is, in order to avoid confusion, make this invisible and zoom in once again. So here in the boat, as you can see, it has, you know, a kind of outer part, which is very perfect for what you're about to do. So grab your selection tool and mask this outer part of the boots so what you have to do is rename this one to out sorry in, yeah, out and we name this one to in so to avoid confusion. So, our in you bring this out to be on top of the layer. So, we name this one the objects. So, drag this out to be on top of the objects perfect so this is what we have achieved right now so as you can see our objects are now fitting inside the boat but it's not looking much realistic so we have to rescale them as it looks like they are far bigger than the boat so what we have to do now is to uh, you know replace the stick on which the guy here is holding with a more realistic one then press ctrl T on your keyboard to you know rescale and resize what we have just brought in so for me I would resize this down a little bit then I will have to zoom in so as to be seen clearly of what I'm doing you have to make it to match the perspective of the guy's direction and maybe like the way he's holding it so it will look realistic okay having done this as you can see the stick is you know hanging in his hand it's not right inside his hand so what we achieve now is to you know make the stick to fit inside his hand not outside so highlight the objects then come over here with your selection tool and select over his hand having done that click ctrl j on your keyboard make sure you have the object layer selected then click ctrl j so now enable the stick rename this layer to first and good then drag it up to stick hope you can see what we just achieved now so it now looks like he's actually holding the stick so we have to repeat that process over here too highlight the object
so as you can see i think we achieved you know placing the stick to be inside his hand you can do this whichever way that works for you so now we have a problem over here because the stick is supposed to be outside the boat not inside so we have to you know bring down this outer part of the boat down to the stick good we have achieved that so um, i think we are done with you know the selection and joining of the objects and the whole stuffs here apart from the background so we will have to make this to be invisible then right click on any of these then make select match visible so once you have done that it would compress all your the other layers to one uh, picture excluding the background which i made it to be visible so anything we do now affects everything here such as the scale and you know every other thing that we do so now what we'll be doing now is to you know make this stick to fill inside the water so to achieve that we have to come over to this layer and draw a mask around rename it to um, the top then drag that on top of the out layer which i will need to um out we we'll have to decrease the opacity to maybe um, 50 like that, okay But then we have to, you know, give it a soft edge. When I mean soft edge, it's, as you can see, the line is too sharp. So we have to, you know, feather the selection by coming here again and select that part. Then right click and feather. Maybe make it 20. Good. Then click on the delete key on your keyboard and keep doing it until you don't see the line again the next thing to do is um, you know make the boots to fill inside um, the the water as you can see it's just hanging there it's not um, much realistic so what we have to do is come over to the water layer too and draw off mask too to you know, repeat the same thing we just did earlier come over here and select the edges of the the stuff we just duplicated and right click on further and choose 20 okay then keep deleting this until you don't see the lines again okay. so this is what we have done it looks much more realistic to me but i would say maybe let's decrease the opacity a little bit okay so i think we are doing great so far now the next thing to do is um, you know we should add some um water ripples and a kind of splashes to these edges to make it look more realistic so still i have this um PNG water files. Okay, you know, as you can see, the color doesn't match, um, you know, the water over here. So, in order to give it a slight tone of what this water color looks like. I will have to do it this way. Double click over here and come to color valet. Then click on that and 
select you know a color that looks alike to what we have over there but then make it whitish okay this works for me then you have to decrease the opacity to make it look more realistic so I'll come over here and take the blood tool so this blood tool will use it to you know feather the edges so that um, you won't have to see this rough edges so much so just paint around the water okay then keep decreasing the opacity till it looks much 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 realistic so you have to zoom out to see what we have done I think it looks good now then we will be duplicating this by you know selecting it I will have to rename it to splash then all I have to do is just hold it and press hold alt and hold this and drag it to wherever you wish So I think it looks much much realistic now. So we'll have to select everything apart from the background and do match visible. Okay. Match visible. Okay. So, so next thing we have to be doing i think we are done with um mostly the manipulation so the last thing to do is to color grade so to color grade this we have to you know give it the color tone that matches with the background here we have so come over to filter camera or filter then for us to achieve this um increase the temperature to make it yellowish then increase the contrast decrease the blacks a little bit come over here to HSL adjustment and increase the orange and yellow a little bit then um, the, the vibrance the contrast then say ok then you have to you know, repeat this to the background layer by just pasting the color already so if it's too much you could you know desaturate that a little bit by coming to camera filter and um, choose um saturation and saturate it a little bit and you have to apply that to this one too So at this moment we have to you know merge the two layers to become one. So I'll do merge visible and still come over to camera filter. Okay, I would still um you know increase the yellow texture and um, orange yellows and probably add some vignet texture to give it um you know a whole lot of different look so it works for me okay i think we are actually doing something awesome here okay um finally i added some you know birds flying in the sky over there so I've downloaded the image already. Mm -hmm.
So guys, I think it looks good already and um, this is the imagery we wanted to achieve. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do well by subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please do like this video and drop a positive comment or maybe suggestions, ideas or observations. Thank you very much. I remain Ben Casino. Oh, 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 oh,